Last year, I put up a video about my contact multi-channel template. Over the past year, I've gotten a lot of questions about how you actually use it. So that's what we're gonna cover, how to actually use my contact multi-channel template. So if you haven't seen that previous video and you haven't got the download yet, there will be a link in the description to the previous video as well as that download so you can get started with contact very quickly with 16 channels of MIDI into the instrument and then 40 channels of audio out of the instrument. So here's how it looks when you are first getting started with this. Once you have it installed into the track templates folder, you'll right click, go to insert track from template, I have mine in a folder called instruments and I'll just choose contact six, 16 instruments and four aux. I also have a contact five version of this, but we're gonna do the contact six version today. And so it looks like this, we've got a folder called contact template and this is just going to be like the master volume for uh, all the outputs from this. Um, we can mute everything all at once. We can collapse this down really small to organize our project. And then below that, we've got the contact track, which has the plugin only. So just the contact plugin. We'll come back to that later. And then below that, we have 16 tracks of MIDI. Switching over to the mixer view, we have all of the audio outputs from contact. So these uh, MIDI comes in on these tracks into the plugin and then out through these other tracks. The entire template is 38 tracks. So if we record something on, let's say, contact MIDI 3, it's going to come out on KT Stereo 3. And of course, we can rename these based on the actual instruments and sounds that we're using inside of contact. So all the routing is already done. Everything works. We just need to put some instruments in here. And if we look at the track manager, we can see that um, the MCP column is unchecked for all of these MIDI tracks, and the TCP column is unchecked for the other ones, the audio outputs. We can easily customize this as we want, hide everything, show everything, or, or just have the MIDI in the arrange view and just the audio in the mixer. That's how I like to get started with it. You usually don't need to see the audio channels in the arrange view until you're mixing and drawing in automation. That's how I like to set up, but you could always customize this template and resave it. So one of the most confusing things I think for people was when you're actually adding in the instruments, how do you get them to the separate outputs? So let's start with the contact factory selection. I don't have the full version of contact uh, six, um, so I just have kind of these demo instruments. And let's just put in one bass and we'll put in the clavinet. And let's put in, let's shrink these down and put in the jazz organ just for now. Starting with the classic bass, we see right here, output ST1. This is the first instrument. So that means it's going to the first output. And we can just look at our outputs here. ST1 is this one, which relates to this track KTST1 in the mixer. So if I preview this instrument from within contact, you can see it on the meter here and in the mixer and Reaper, you can see it coming up on the KT Stereo 1 as well as the template folder track. If I close this and go to the clavinet and uh, make sure the keyboard is selected here. That is coming up KT Stereo 1 as well. And what we need to do is change each of our instruments that we want assigned to different outputs here. And so we just do Stereo 2. And on the third one, we set to Stereo 3. Right below the audio outputs for each of the instruments in contact, you see MIDI channel A1, a2 and A3. So those are separate MIDI channels and we can trigger these instruments in two different ways. The way that I have set up this template is to be, uh, so we take the contact MIDI three track and arm it. And if you play anything on your keyboard and your key keyboard can be set to any MIDI channel, it, it will just go through to the third instrument. 
Okay, so that was the third instrument with the third track armed. If I arm MIDI 2, I should get clavinet. So, and that comes out on the second output. And if I arm the third one, it comes out on the third output. And so on, just every time you add in another instrument, you just need to set the assignment for the output to the next output. So if I arm track four, the MIDI inputs do go in sequence. If you're finding that multiple instruments are playing at once, it means you probably have this on Omni or else you have two instruments set to the same uh, MIDI channel. So if I had, um, let's say MIDI one assigned here and I arm tracks one and four, I can trigger two instruments at the same time. They go to different audio outputs, but they have the same um, MIDI input. So actually recording these instruments onto their own track, you're going to be recording with MIDI. So these green tracks, you record arm, you, you play your song, and you play your performance. On playback, we will hear the, the generated MIDI as audio through these pink tracks. If you want to freeze a track, you have to select the contact track and freeze this. And then you're going to freeze as a multi-channel. So it's gonna take all of the MIDI inputs and create audio files just on the contact track and all the routing to the outputs will stay as they are. Some of the instruments like Analog Dreams and some any of the newer ones that have presets built in will start off in this snapshot view, the camera icon is lit up. And then on the, the left below the name are the presets. But if we hit the I button, the info view, then we have the output and the MIDI assignment. If you're seeing presets instead of the info, the audio output routing, that's where you go to set that. And that should be all you need to know to actually use my contact template. You can record and produce using this. You can choose your own instruments. You can mix them any way you want. And uh, it's very flexible because you have 16 tracks of MIDI and then separate tracks of audio for you to mix later. If you need more tracks than that, if you need more than 16 instruments within contact, just duplicate the template uh, or insert the template again and then keep building on from there. You should fill this up with instruments that you actually like. Just make sure that all the output assignments are right. I would go through then and name all of your tracks and then save this again as a new template. Once you start working with this, it's going to save a lot of time. And if you save in your favorite, most inspiring presets and instruments, uh, it, you're going to be inspired to make music using it. So that's it for this video. Again, if you want to start with my template, there will be a link in the description. Uh, and there's also a link to my newsletter where I have even more templates and presets and things like that for you to download. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.